Silver One, Inventor 719, and I have a pretty cool experiment to show you guys today. Uh, this video is going to be how to make homemade thermite. And of course it's not actual thermite, but it reacts very similarly and definitely a really fun science experiment. So, what you're going to need for this is some newspaper, a sparkler, some fuse, an exacto knife, a container, I've used a test tube, but a jar can be made of anything really. Magnesium strips and iron filings, which are optional, but definitely I think are much required. So, basically, the first step is to take your sparkler, as you can see here I have a long one, which is not required, but again, recommended, and your newspaper, and what you're going to want to do is break it on top of the newspaper to catch all the stuff, and you're going to take it all off the stick. So I'll do that, and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so what I've done is taken my sparkler and bent it up just using my hands, which caused all of the powder to fall off. And then what I did is used a hammer to crush it up, which allows me to maximize the surface area to um, increase the burning to its maximum potential, which increases the effect greatly. So the next step, I'll move my hammer, is to take the lid off your tube or whatever you choose to use. Again, it doesn't have to be just like this. And now we're going to layer our three ingredients. We got sparkler stuff, iron filings, and a magnesium strip. Again, optional, but recommended. And so the sparkler stuff is the stuff that burns the best. So we're going to start by putting a layer of this on the bottom. Probably about half. So I'll put it in as best I can. Okay, there you go. Those are all sparkler pieces. Then what we're going to do is take your magnesium strip. And I set a knife at the beginning, but scissors actually work very well. And then hold it over top of your tube and cut it into little pieces, which again will maximize the efficiency of the burning. Okay, so we've added them in there. And then the next step is to take your iron filings. These can be purchased many different places. And don't add too much because these don't actually burn. They just add a cool effect. So there's all the iron filings. And you're just going to put no more than a teaspoon, I would say. And then what you're going to do lastly, let me just put the lid on. There we go. Take as much of the rest of the remaining powder that's what I have there and fill it up to the top you can of course save some for later maybe you'd make another one so there you have it and of course the very last step take your fuse and measure it what you're going to want to do is stick it all the way to the bottom so I'm actually going to cut a piece that long, just like this, and then I'm going to put it in so it sticks in just like that, and so I'm almost going to thread it. And now you could either put the lid back on with a hole in it, or not. I'm going to choose not to just for demonstrational purposes. So, there's the basic thermite. It's just for fun, of course. So, let's take it outside and give it a test. there it is now melting 
put that in slow motion for you. Thanks for watching. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe.